Welcome back, eh? This is the Canadian Silver Seeker, and I hope you guys are having another great day like I am. Just got back from my weekly LCS trip, and I did a bit of running around in the city today. I actually sold three ounces of silver, and then I went and bought three ounces of silver. So I made a bit of a profit on some silver that I had purchased a couple years ago. Um, had it uh, on Facebook Marketplace. A guy wanted three ounces. So I, instead of having to pull money out of the bank this week, I went and sold that to him before I went to my LCS trip. Uh, after I went and sold those three ounces, I kind of made a good, uh, uh, good contact. He might want some more in the future. I said, no problem, let me know. I definitely have got some more generic buffalo rounds for cheap if you want. And we'll go from there. So I'll talk to him probably in a couple weeks again. But after that, I went to my LCS and what did I get? I got myself another $5 of Canadian 80% junk silver. Um, it's actually $5.25 this week. Uh, he had an extra quarter in the bag for wear and tear. And not all of it was 80% silver. The stuff on the left is definitely 925. So what did I get? I got $3.25 of King George the Sixth. He said, oh, unless someone brings some in next week here. This is going to be the last he has of the King George the Sixth. And I told him again, I was like, I doesn't have to be King George the Sixth. Like, that is my favorite effigy, but I, I'll take whatever in 80% silver quarters. It, it all fills this bag. You can see that one's got a little bit of green tinge to it. Very, very cool. I got, uh... One quarter here, I know for sure from the date of this one, 1935, that that is definitely 80% silver. That is King George V. And then we got a dollar 25 here of, I'm not exactly sure whether these are 80% silver or they are 925. And why I don't know is because they're all King George V. But all of the dates are worn off and I cannot see them. So I've got a special stack of those there. I got a stack of 80% there for sure. I got a stack of I'm not quite sure what that is. And then we got a stack of 925 here. We've got a Queen Victoria and a few King Edwards in there or King Edward in there. And I got one more King Edward there for sure can always tell that by the way he is facing even if you can't read the date on the coin you can tell by the way he is facing because King Edward is always facing to the right and King George is facing to the left King Edward's head is a little bit bigger too as you can see a little bit more prominent and we have one here from that I could read the date on. If it'll ever focus in there, the camera, as you can see, that looks like a 1912. Anything 1918 and before is 925. So, very, very cool. I actually like the 925 even more than I like the King George the Sick. Anyways, I'll go back next week. I'll get myself uh, another $5. It'll probably be Queen Elizabeth um, and her first portrait, but that's okay with me. I'm fine with that. Anyways, this is a short one. And don't have much more to say this week. Still paying bills. Gonna put this in my spreadsheet and remove the other three ounces and we'll go from there. Anyways, thanks for listening to me ramble. Remember, it doesn't cost you a single piece of silver or gold to like and subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Happy stacking, eh?